Hello, everyone. Right now, I'm going to show you how to create that kind of website. This video uh, is about um, mobile uh, devices design, uh, adaptive de design, responsive design, and uh, how can we uh, reach that step by step. Okay, let's go. I got my folder, space trip. I've created that design file quickly a few minutes ago. Uh, and uh, also, I'll show you uh, how to um, create mobile menu. We press this hamburger button and mobile menu appears. Mobile menu menu will include all that links and that logo type. It's uh, not really uh, important to buy, uh, about uh, the pictures, the text. The main points are mobile uh, versions, adaptive design, responsive design, and creating a mobile menu. So let's go. Uh, I have prepared. Uh, for upcoming developing space tree folder is uploaded into Visual Studio Code, standard top level tags, style CSS, empty, IMG, empty. Okay. Uh, the first thing I should make is to prepare. Uh, I need to import all that pictures. into my folder IMG, okay. Uh, yes, PNG, okay, export for layers. And let's go to the desktop, then my, so where is that? Yes, path strip and IMG, okay, save, show in folder, uh, open. Uh, so what do we got here? It's image one. Mm -hmm. That's logo, okay. Yeah. Another logo. <laughs> what is that? Have I made a mistake? Ah, it's not logo, it's a uh, header. And that is logo, I suppose. Uh huh, yeah, I'm sorry. And, uh, it's kind of rocket. And it's planet, Earth. So with a plane. Mm -hmm. uh, then I should uh, import all the fonts, all necessary fonts. It's so Roboto, regular, and bold. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's do that. Uh, let's just follow Google Fonts. Then, oh, go to Slab. No, I don't need that. Uh, then, Standard and Bold. Yeah. Okay. Import. Import. Click here and my. So I've got the same font uh, through all the website. So I can do the following thing. Body. Yeah, that's great. And now, uh, what else? Uh, we uh, and hire mobile first approach when we are creating websites. So let's follow that. Uh, it's uh, usually I start from creating desktop version, but, uh, and uh, after that I'm creating, uh, I create for tablets and for mobile phones, but that's um, quite vice versa. So
So let's just start from that picture. From that picture of design file, and let's create uh, this version of our web page. So let's get started. Call developers tools. Then it's uh, mobile phone, iPhone 5 SE. So here we go. We've got uh, here. Uh, let's start from uh, creating markup, and then we will follow styles. Uh, so we will have here standard structure, header with class header, container inside. Then we will have our main part plus. And then enter. Plus enter. Yeah, standard structure. Then inside of header, we will set navigation with class header nav. We will put there our links. Yes, but okay. Uh, let's not be hurry. We will get. We will create it later. Okay, after we reach that version of uh, after we reach that computer version, or you know, if we start from mobile phones, but like playing chess, we should uh, plan our work, our actions. So we can continue. Okay, let's just create uh, it a bit later. Right now, uh, by, by the way, if it's, yeah, we can uh, start from header nav, why not? Navigation, header nav, okay, let's do that. And here inside, we will put two columns our logo type and that button. But uh, you know, our button will be uh, positioned uh, with a uh, fixed mode. And okay, let's uh, do that thing here. Uh, we will put only logo type here. Yeah, right now, I mean. Because if we put both that things here, uh, we will need to, oh, you know, let's just uh, do that thing. And after we will see, will it be necessary to change something or it will not? Okay, we will have header nav and I will put that two objects inside of one division with class row, service class row. And here I put uh, MG or maybe logo wrapper it's division, and inside I'll put image an image with a logo type and logo here. Uh -huh. Yeah, it works. That's great. Uh, then here I will put my button. I put my button here. Plus hamburger. Common name. Okay, that's it for uh, the button. By the way, we will put all these uh, stripes using uh, CSS code. Okay, that's all about header, oh, no, I'm sorry, yeah, uh, about navigation, not about header, but about navigation. Then let's follow to our, what is it? That's H1, I suppose. I think we should put that uh, inside of, ah, uh, you see, we will need a row as well. Uh, by the way, when you're uh, creating web pages using uh, design files, you should take into account all the states 
that you that your objects will get for example its state of a row and the state of colon so you have to plan that um, your your uh, actions your design your code so right now i understand that i will need display flags here and here i will need display colon uh, you know we can create just simple blocks without flexes but when we will start creating a desktop version we will need a division with a container with display flex property okay so what does it mean we will need to put that text and picture into uh, our class row, which will get property display flex when we start creating, when we start uh, writing styles. Mm -hmm. So here, we will put uh, header text, for example, header desk in the description. So here I'm putting h1, strip and here we'll get a paragraph follow us on and i suppose that should be a link oh uh, maybe a yeah log and i think we will need our class here. Let's just create some class. Let it be header link. It will, uh, these links will be nav links, and here is header link. It's header desk. This is header link. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's great. And then we should uh, go into main. Inside of main, the same situation. We can create just simple divisions. H2, then heading here, then some maybe H3, paragraph, then image, then uh, H3 again, again paragraph and image. The same for tablets, but when we start coding our desktop version, we will need to align our text and images in a row but as you can see we will need flex here by the way that's container i'm using here that's really easier to align your pictures and uh, all of your objects between each other yeah okay that's great uh, so here I'm going, uh, what does it mean? We will need display flex. So here I will create flex as well, but it will have property um, flex direction colon. And for desktops, I will change it uh, from uh, display colon to display row. Oh, not display, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, flex direction from flex direction colon into flex direction row. Okay, let's go. So here I'm creating a section. Uh, then H2 with class name, uh, section header. Heading like this. Okay. Well then, here I'm creating row and then uh, two columns here, yeah? Two equal columns. Here I'm putting H3 some class name sub section heading and 
then it's lorem and then paragraph let's put some class name here maybe text and here's the text here okay then you see i will need another row here so uh, for another section i'm going to create another row uh, it's another another section that's the same section maybe heading and maybe it's um, main part how to what about space uh, what are space strips and so on. I'm just going to create another row here. Um, by the way, it's, I'm a bit hurry, uh, but we should just create another column here for our image. I'm, I mean, I'm, I've been a bit hurry by creating another In a, uh, another uh, row here. I should finish. I should have finished a column with our image. So here we go. Wrapper. So here we go. IMG. With, what is that? Uh, it's planet Earth. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Right now, I can create. Oh, is that all right? Yeah, that's all right. Everything works. Another row uh, for the next subsection. Ah, that's the same text. Okay, never mind. And here I should change image rocket. Yeah, that's all right right now. So everything all right. Okay, that's all about our markup without footer right now. Okay, I should can even delete it. But let it be here empty. Sure, uh, sure, on your web pages, you will create footer. Okay, let's just start from uh, styles for navigation, for header generally. But before, we should uh, make some random styles, standard styles, which I can create before. Um, creating styles for web page. Okay, that's for every single element of our web page. Uh, box sizing border box, then, uh, okay, body about font family, okay, but before that, HTML body, margin, zero, Adding zero with one hundred percent, right? One hundred percent. Then one page two, page three, maybe page four, paragraph or some other things like lists, UL or OL, maybe block quotes or something else. We should delete margins and paddings. For that. Okay. Ah, I should plug in my styles. Okay, now that's great. Uh huh. Uh, well, next. Yes, I prepared a font family for body. But also, I can 
choose color, but it's a uh, black color, standard color for it. I should just use main font size here, uh, 24 pixels for mobile phones, okay. Size 24 pixels. Is that all right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, 24 pixels, that's it. Okay, let's continue. Let's just, uh, I suppose that's all about our operations. Let's start from navigation and header. Okay, here we go. The first thing here is about a uh, row. It's a, uh, oh, not even row, container. Our uh, service class here, we should uh, apply following properties here. The first margin zero auto, then width a minimum width. That's an example of uh, responsive web design. 220 pixels and here maximum width 1140 pixels and that's it okay and for mobile phones we should put some paddings here about 15 pixels for computers we will delete them, them. Headings uh, zero and 15 pixels from the left and from the right. Okay, because that's not really beautiful when uh, uh, content is sticky to the edges. That's much better. Okay, let's uh, continue with our uh, navigation and row. Yeah, so row should be display flex. Let's just start like this. Okay, <laughs> you see uh, right now it's uh, with display flex and uh, maybe let's just add justify content space between on the spot. Like this, right now. Uh, we will, uh, we should change our navigation here. I suppose uh, it should be some heading from the top about 11. Pixels. Maybe let's just start from heading top. Okay, then let's uh, uh, then uh, our logo type. It's uh, 70 pixels width and about 70 pixels height. Height, 71. Well, I should, ah, the next service class for every, uh, not class, properties. For every image, we should apply display block. Oh no, yeah, with 100% and hey, height auto. That's it. And for logo wrapper, put, uh, with 71 pixel. Is that all right? Yeah, 71. And its height will be adjusted. Automatically, uh, automatically. So about our button now, let's style that thing. Button, 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 oh, hamburger, there we go. Hamburger. Uh, 80 pixels width and 65 pixels height. The first thing is, 
-hmm. display block. Then let's delete our border and background color, standard things, border non background color trans transparent like this yeah it has disappeared and then with 80 pixels uh, height 65 as far as i remember yeah 65 okay then let's create two borders from the top and from the bottom oh by the way, we can, uh, if we have more buttons here on our web page, we can make uh, button for every button. We can apply that properties. So here we go next. Border top should be. Uh, 15 pixels. Okay, that's the color, so it should be solid. Then that color, 15 pixels. Yeah, that's the first thing. And border bottom, the same thing. And we should draw that stick at the center. We can create it using to the element, for example, after. You see, we don't need to put anything here inside of our button, only that single tag. But that single tag has a lot of different styles. Mm -hmm. So, mandatory content empty. Without it, it will not work. Without that property, our stick will not appear. Then, with 100%, ah, I'm sorry, our, let's start from display block, then position absolute, uh, and here we add position relative. Um, then with the 100, okay, height of 15 pixels, background color, that color, the same. Ah, here we go. This is our stick. Right now, we should align it at the center from vertically and horizontally. Okay, uh, there is a common way, this top 50%, left 50%, then transform, translate, minus 50%, minus 50%. That's great. And by the way, if you want to align something on center, so you should use that combination of properties with that values, with those values. Yeah. Okay, it's done right now. Uh, by the way, if I want my button sticky, not sticky, uh, fixed. So maybe I should make uh, the button itself. with fixed position or I will need make our navigation with a fixed position we should think about it okay but later I suppose okay then look we've created our button okay let's just make our button uh, fixed for now, mm -hmm. position fixed. 
yeah, it's fixed, uh, but we should align it. Uh, so uh, we will put uh, well, 10 pixels as far as I remember, or 11. Our navigation has, where's our navigation? It's ah, 11, okay. Let's apply 11 pixels here as well. And then something from the left, it's about, or where is our container? 15, yeah? Well, well, well. Hmm. If I apply 15 pixels here, it will have its 15. Ah, okay, why not? All right. pixels okay we will change it if it's needed uh, so let's go next we have created our navigation with our button with fixed position and then our header okay h1 where is h1 oh, okay h1 Add color. And then uh, font size sixty pixels. Uh -huh. and text align center. Mm -hmm. Then follow us. header desk and here we can put class name header text it's black it's 18 black font size is standard color that's why i'm not I'm typing that property here because it's black by default, but it's bold. Yeah, so font wait, 700. Uh huh. And so we can maybe style our link here. Why not? Font. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Let's use the, the same font size, font weight, and font color should be like this, maybe. Okay, why not? And for all the links, text decoration, no, just remove that underline. And we should make text align center as well. By the way, we have some space here, about 20 pixels. So margin bottom, 20 pixels. like this. Uh -huh. Then 35 pixels margin bottom here. Um, well, okay. And by the way, where is our? Ah, I haven't added Yeah, I haven't added picture. Oh uh, well. Let it be. Hmm. Let's uh, create separate. Image wrapper like this. And here I'm going to put my image after picture. Good. 
then header wrapper. I want to create what? Uh, with 100%. Oh, you see that in a row display flags. Ah, yeah, but I should apply uh, as I already told. Flex direction, colon. Yeah, like this. Colon. Yeah, okay. And here you see from our our header will have two hundred and twenty five. Heading top. So let's apply that. Why am I applying that uh, heading, uh, that padding for a header? I suppose because our navigation will be fixed. Oh, but as for now, I suppose it should uh, be padding for not, not not for header, but for a um, margin bottom for navigation. Oh, uh, well, you know, if we want to create our, um, okay, let's make that, uh, space for navigation on the header nav, then margin bottom, how many? 143. Okay. Oh, I have put it inside of navigation. Yeah, that's my bad. Where is header navigation? Yeah, that's it. I shouldn't have done this. In this container here. Yeah, now that's all right. Okay, that's great. Let's go next. Uh, but isn't it too... Much space, uh, too much space for that. Maybe we should put that a bit up. Just imagine if you open a web page and you see that. Well, that's not so great, I suppose. Okay, right now, what is it? 36. Maybe better. Or we can create at least maybe 50 pixels. Uh, then I should make some margin bottom for my header text. 35. Yeah, that's it. And about picture. You know, it should be uh, right now. It's uh, display block, but I want it a bit smaller. Or I should make my margin bottom smaller, like this maybe. Okay, forty. Yeah, because I want my header. On a single screen. Okay, where is it? I don't know. 40. Okay. And now we've got our next section heading. Uh, we have some 133. 
padding bottom for header. Now that's definitely padding bottom. Let's add it. Mm -hmm. Or not even padding bottom. Let's just, uh, okay, let's just create it for main. Not for header. Okay, that's done. Main. Uh, we don't need uh, any properties for image wrapper right now. But after it, I suppose we will. After we start creating coding um, for desktop. Okay, main. So next. So heading top about this, uh -huh. then H2. So section heading. Properties I'm taking from Figma font. Size 50 pixels, then bold font weight. And of course, text align. Center. Yep. Ta da, here we go. Then margin bottom about 100. Yeah. Okay, that's it. Then for H3, subsection heading. Uh, size 48. Then uh, bold as well. Why do I have bold here? Let it be regular. Okay, let be bold H3, but color that color and margin. I already know. Ah, thirty six pixels. Like this, uh huh. Uh, then margin bottom for our text about 50 pixels here. So, where is that thing? Yeah, for a column. Six pixels. Oh, 50 pixels, 51. That's colon, yeah, with text. Mm -hmm. Now that's my picture with entire width of my container. Then the same properties for, oh, you see, my row has ended. By the way, I don't need margin bottom for the last column. So that's why here I'm using pseudo class last child and margin bottom zero. Okay, that's it. Right now it's one column and the second column. Or, oh, ah, the second, yeah, the second column without margin bottom. I should use margin bottom for my row class, I suppose. Yeah. Okay, let's apply that. Margin bottom, 174. Oh, you know, uh, that would not be appropriate because here I have my row as well and I don't need that margin bottom here. So 
maybe I should use another class, uh, additional class name. So I have two rows here. So we can use that uh, row and that subsection, just subsection. And subsection here as well. Yeah, now that would be correct. Launching bottom 74 pixels. And for the last subsection, I don't need any margins. Yeah, that's all I suppose. We have some, we can make some uh, padding for our main. Uh, well, let it be so padding that value for the bottom and for the top and zero from the left and from the right. Okay, now that's all right about mobile phones. Yeah. Okay, let's now uh, continue with our tablets. For tablets, we have following properties, the same properties, yeah, as for mobile phones, but we need to correct them. Mm -hmm. What do I have here? The first thing is I should create a media query. Media, then minimum with 768 pixels. And then what should I change? I should change uh, headings for container. It's 15 pixels here, I, don't, I need 20 pixels here. Uh, you know, I don't need all that properties. I don't need to repeat them because all that properties right now are working for that media query. You see, if I leave my media query empty, nothing will change. Yeah. But uh, I can change some uh, certain objects here. Uh, I just want to say that I don't need to uh, repeat all the properties here. For example, I've got my uh, subsection heading with some kind of blue col text color. I don't need uh, to, re to repeat it here because it will work for that width of uh, my screen. Okay. What should I need? Container, uh, that property. Oh, foo, 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 foo. Container padding, 20 pixels, yeah? Uh, what's next? Space trip. I suppose a logo of the same. Ah, it's, yeah, that's, uh, its position has changed. And we, ha we have just changed it changed it as well. And I should change what else, uh, H1, yeah. I see I should change it, uh, it's 60. So here I should apply well, font size, 72 pixels, yeah. Then I should change margins from navigation, should be 100 and 59. We can uh, change it if it's necessary. Yeah, like this, okay. Uh, then maybe heading for navigation. It's small padding, about 11 pixels here. And here I have about 28 pixels. So header. Yeah, padding top. Top. Pixels. 
Yeah, that's it. Uh, then I should change that property for hamburger as well. Where's my hamburger? Uh, that's it. I should change top from 11 to 28. Yep. Okay, what's next? Mm -hmm. um, that's all right. Maybe our text should be changed here as well. Um, 36 pixels. Yeah. Header text, 36 pixels. That's it. And the same thing for link, other link, because link is uh, such an object uh, which doesn't inherit properties from its parent, from its parental element. So we should use it separately. Uh huh. That's great. Then maybe margins here. It's about 50. Oh, yeah, that's it. I should change it as well. Where is my H1? Margin bottom 20. I should change it here from 20 to about, oh, let it be 45. Then I should change property for my text. Uh, margin bottom. It's 35 here. Should change it from 35 into 60. But if we take into consideration standard uh, font paddings from the top and from the bottom, we should use smaller value. Maybe not 60, maybe 55 like this. And now I should... Uh, decrease the size of my picture in the header. So where is that? Uh, yeah, header image wrapper. Its size is that width. Okay. Okay, like this. Yeah. And you see, I should use, I should center my uh, position of elements. So isn't that too small, 60? And I have applied 55 here. Yeah, that's it. Everything's all right, but it looks like it's smaller, isn't it? It's uh, higher here. Smaller here, 55. <laughs> you see that space between letters and that orange box. Uh, that's uh, the default space of uh, using of um, the font that we are using right now that I've been talking about. And we should take it into account. Okay, let's apply a separate class for that, because if I use uh, a line item center or justify content center for row. Okay, let's just try to apply that. I don't really know how will it work, but we'll just try. Okay, let's just return uh, on our mobile phones. And if I use a row space between, justify content space between, and if I use align items center, yeah, I don't want that because my adjustments become broken. So I should use here. Uh, A 
line items center that kind of class it's another service class that i'm going to create here and it will use the line item center yeah it's uh, applied for certain element for that part only and it will not break uh, the positions of our elements. Oh well, iPad, here we go. Ah, uh -huh. now that's great. Yeah. Okay, let's go next. Our heading, it's all right. It's all right about our pictures. By the way, we can uh, decrease the size of our pictures as well. For example, image wrapper here. Its width is 500 pixels. The same thing. We should use, uh, let's just try to use the line item center for my row with that with these objects well here we go Ta -da. yeah that's all right mm -hmm. yeah that's great mm -hmm. Well, okay, that's it about, I don't really know, it's, ah, I, sh uh, I also should change, it's uh, 6450, I should change subsection heading. And size into 64 pixels here. And for text, as well 36 and here if you use 24 in text size 36 pixels hey that's it uh by the way i can also change the main uh, padding because I want my heading go down there, like this. Yeah. Why not? Uh, where is that? Main. Mm hmm Hang top. As far as I remember that value I could just use. Yeah, that's it. Um okay. Let's let's go next and let's just continue with our computer. That's it. That's about our computer. The first thing that we should make about is our links. That's that links. We don't need that um, button anymore. Oh, where is that button? Okay, let me create another media query. At media. Mean width. Okay. Uh, well, I don't need that thing anymore. Hamburger. No. 
yeah, it has disappeared. But I, I will need my links here. Oh, uh, well, it's a logo and yeah. F A maybe. Uh, link. Uh, how many? Four. Yeah. Okay. And then it's row here. I should change my row for computers. The property that's used right now, flex direction colon should be changed. Flex direction row. Hey, that's it. Uh, well, now I should use maybe the same thing uh, for navigation links. Margins navigation links should be. Uh, 48 pixels. And that color. That color. And now, oh, why doesn't it work? Navigation links, please. Ah, I'm sorry. Not A. That's it. And now I should use uh, uh, maybe display uh, block. Yeah, that's it. And I should use a row for my net links. That's row as well. Yeah, that's it. And I should use margins. Margin 119. Margin right. Except of the last. Child. Because we don't need any margins for our last element. Right now, that's great. Then uh, the thing for container. I don't need any paddings anymore. Yeah, like this. I don't need any paddings. Then for, ah, that I suppose that works really great. Almost. <laughs> then look. Foo -foo -foo. What else should I change? Yeah, it works almost. Everything's all right. Uh, I should change my picture. It's with now is that with, yeah. Maybe I should change something here as well. Okay, let's just start from the picture. Its last name is another image wrapper. With for it is that with. Okay. Then look, I should just change. I have applied a line item center here, but you know. I don't need it for computers, definitely. Then maybe I should use another class name. Maybe vertical align some kind of. I should just uh, rename it. The 
practically a line. And here vertical align line item center for our computers and mobile phones. I will delete that links from here. Okay. But the same property for desktops will be changed. Line items, flex start, like this. Yeah, by the way, about links. Uh, our links are, uh, where is our links? Navigation links, that block for header for mobile phones and for Tablets display none, but for computers, play block, yeah. Oh. Display flex, it should be. Uh, or, or display unset. Hmm. No, it doesn't work. Okay, if I use display auto, is that proper you think? I just want it to be ignored. Of course it's not. Flex, okay, let it be flex, and then I don't need that. Yeah, I don't need that plus row here anymore then. Yeah, okay. Uh, well, about my 72, 72 as well, but I should uh, change its alignment, it's text align property. Line left, yeah, like this. Uh, then here we go again. That's all right about my lorem ipsum. That's all right. I should just change its width. Its width should be maybe. For columns, yeah, where's my column? For columns. A width maybe one of uh, 45%, maybe, uh, ah, almost. See, it should be 500 pixels, but using that percent, I'm getting 513. I should change it like this. Oh, almost here. Yeah, that's great. I've got it here 36 pixels. And how many it's here? Yeah, the same thing here. And yeah, that's it. But please pay attention. I have this text on the contrary in comparison with that part. Uh, so what can we do? For every second row, use flex direction row reverse. Let's just try. So uh, MTH child. To M every second. Next direction, row reverse. What do I get? Oh. 
Oh, um, now I got it. Yeah. For every, that's for every, uh, not every second, for every even. Okay, let's just try put even. Odd. Yeah, for every odd, no. The first, the second. Hmm. Ah, now I got it. Look, I've got one row here. Yeah, I just want for every second. What if I use even after all? Even, yeah, the first. That's all right about, uh, no, that's not right about here. Because I have row reverse should be applied. X direction row, okay. Then for every even element, it's zero, I suppose, zero, two, four, because that's zero. Okay, for every odd, then it will change, not the way that I like to change it, yeah? Well, so why doesn't change? Because I have one row here and the second row here on my header. That's why I'm getting that result. Maybe I should use, hmm. Maybe I should get rid of that row class here and just use flex for header navigation, maybe. Let's just try. Then, yeah. I'm getting it here. Yes, according to my design file, but I should uh, make some things about my header navigation. Let's find it here, header navigation, um, display flex. Yes, and justify content space between. Now that's all right. Okay, let's just check this out. Oh, by the way, it's about heading 64 pixels uh, font size. Section heading. Yeah, 36 here. Ah, 46, 46, 46. Ah, the same. Is that 46 here? No, it's 50. Ah, it's section heading. Okay, section heading. Yeah, section heading, let's find it here. 50, yeah. And even 48. Okay, never mind. Six. Mm -hmm. Okay, what do we have here? Then let's just try. Ta -ta. 320. And the main thing here about uh, creating mobile adaptation is uh, uh, the lack of horizontal scrolls. If it, if it appears, so it means something wrong. Okay, nothing, no scroll here. Okay, let's go, let's go. Okay, right, uh, it's everything all right now. Getting bigger. Okay, bigger. All right, bigger. All right. And 
upcoming breakpoint at 768 pixels. That's all right. Yes, 768. Hey, what do we get here? Here, bad things. All right. Bad things, all right. And then computers. All right here. All right here. 140, 1140. Yeah, that's it. This is our computer styles. So guys, that's all about creating adaptive and responsive web design. And on our next video, I will show how to create mobile menu using HTML, of course, CSS, and JavaScript. So thank you for your attention.